Hi, I'm James from Chaosium. I sat down with Jade Kovac the other day and we spoke about her role art directing for Glorantha. I'm going to jump across to an interview with her in just a moment where we start to talk about what she's been most recently working on. But before I do that, remember to subscribe to the Chaosium YouTube channel. It helps us out and it lets us create more content like this. Thanks. Uh, I believe I'm allowed to talk about this. Um, in recent weeks, I am working with Chaosium with, uh, with Jeff to create art for um, the Sardar source book, actually. We're starting to get in and define the look of people. And what we're really focusing on is ensuring that we have some regular, normal looking people along with our sort of superhero types so that, you know, people can really kind of grasp at getting into the world. You know, not everybody is a supermodel, right? And everyone's got different personalities. And that is really what we're trying to define here with the different peoples. How have you found that the art for this project has been different for other RuneQuest projects that you've worked on? Um, well, it feels like we're starting from scratch a little bit. I mean, we're not. Obviously, this game has been around for like 2,000 years, but um, and it has a really serious fan following. That's something I'm, I'm really dedicated to, is trying to make sure that we live up to what the fans are kind of expecting, but I want to live beyond what the fans are expecting as well, right? The people who play the game and who have been dedicated to it. Um, we, the feeling that is just getting back to the roots, trying to make sure that we have an, a better grasp, a good grasp on what kinds of things that we want to put in the game. And it does feel a little bit like going from scratch, only in that we're defining some things that have never really been defined before, you know, in terms of how the people look, how they feel, cultural things, buildings, maps, all kinds of things that, that maybe have been shown, but haven't been shown quite in as much detail. What is it that really captured your imagination about RuneQuest art? Or what is it that has been one of the big influences on how you've put together art for RuneQuest in the past? It's the, honestly, okay, so it's two things. One, it's Jeff Richard, who is got this amazing mind for history and culture. Um, I've learned a ton of stuff about real life history and culture by working on RuneQuest, particularly with him. But it's also just, a, this is a lived in world. You know, it's not like in a video game where you walk into a room and everything is just pristine and, you know, there's two cups sitting on a table and it's like a stage where it's set up. This world has some grime to it. It's got some scars. It's got some grit. It's got all this history and people who have really dedicated themselves to being experts on the topic of, of RuneQuest and Glorantha and all of those things, right? And so I feel very much like, you know, I can, I can really wrap my head around that. You know, it's, it's, there's a grit to it, but there's also a magic to it. Your art direction work has expanded across IPs like The Witcher and Cyberpunk, as we discussed before. H has working on RuneQuest felt quite different from working on those IPs, or is there a lot of common kind of threads that go through the products? There is some commonality, but you know, The Witcher is more of a fantasy. Well, they're both fantasy IPs, right? But The Witcher is definitely more of a high fantasy, um, dark kind of an IP. And I think RuneQuest has more of a touch with history. It's got its hand sort of holding on to some of that history. And we try to stay loyal to that kind of feel. And in The Witcher, we try to stay loyal to the, the video games and the fan expectation a little bit more. So it's there's a difference in that respect. But there are some similarities too, like periodically, <laughs> because I work for both companies, I'll have an artist that I've been working on for a while on one email me at my other email address and be like, I don't know, but I was just wondering if I could work for you. I'm like, ah, it's me. No worries. You know, and then they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> because they don't expect to run into me again. Is there an area of the RuneQuest world that, so of, is there an area of Glorantha that you would like to really dive into and be able to bring to life uh, artistically? I, very specifically, I'd like to cite the Feathered Horse Queen. 
Um, she's just a, a really cool character. Also, I really wanted to get into the sort of daily life of these folks, you know, where they're living, what the houses are like, um, because as, as, a, as a DM, you know, someone who runs games and someone who plays in games, it's really cool to kind of go through something and look at it like a catalog and go, all right, this is my character's hat. You know, this is my character's sword. You know, my character lives up here on this mountain, you know, at the top with, you know, with their horses or whatever. And that's what really excites me about this product and about this game. It's, I don't even think of it as a product. It's kind of a bad word for it. I really think of it as, you know, a, a game of like a kind of a mini lifestyle, right? <laughs> is there an area of Glorantha that has been the most surprising or I, I mean, my, my, what I usually do is I like to say, what's your favorite bit? And then say, what's your least favorite bit? So asking what has been your favorite, you know, most imaginative creative area to dive into Glorantha, what I'd like to say is, has there been an area of Glorantha that didn't quite coalesce for you, that you found it difficult to put into, uh, in, 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 into, you know, imagery and maybe that is still cool, quite, you know, different in your head than maybe it's appeared so far? I wouldn't say it's different than I was thinking, right? But I would say that overall, taking on something like, uh, you know, Glorantha and RuneQuest is, it's, it's gargantuan. Especially for me, and I will admit, I never played this before. I've heard it, of, of course, because I've been in the game industry and, you know, you'd have to be dead, right? <laughs> Not to know about it. But I, I had never played it, so I wasn't familiar with it. And to not be familiar with an IP that's got 30 years or more under its belt is pretty tough. It's pretty tough to get caught up. But I will say that everyone that I've worked with um, at Chaosium has been a teacher. And as well as, it's like, it's like you know those teachers that just are oppressive because they want you to specifically learn the specific thing in the specific way? And for me, working with everyone at, at Chaosium, it's been like, I'm going to teach you the things, but I want to hear all your ideas about it. And then we're going to find something that works. And, you know, Jeff and I in particular will, will start brainstorming about something. Like, yeah, what about this? And, and sometimes he's just like, wow, that's a really different, cool approach. Let's give that a try. Uh, he's always open to hearing my ideas, even if like I get part of it wrong because I'm not familiar with some of the history, right? He'll help me correct that part, still accept the ideas. So that's really been the hardest part, honestly. It's just, I want to make sure it's accurate to what is already written. And clearly I can't know what is already written because I haven't read every single book, you know, 